Hey guys, thanks for tuning back in. So today what I wanted to talk about is how we can prepare ourselves for the summer. Um, you know, I've never been a huge sunscreen person per se, but um, as of lately, I've realized, you know, I'm, I'm getting a couple wrinkles, I'm hearing more and more about um, people developing skin cancer, and knowing that it runs in my family, I thought, okay, you know, maybe it's time to get a hold of yourself and uh, start uh, doing things that can help prevent it and, and really protect yourself. So, I mean, it's important to wear it every day all over your entire body. Um, I don't use the same sunscreen for my body as I use for my face and, and my neck, um, just because I know that those areas are a little bit more sensitive um, on myself and, you know, probably on most people as well. Um, I use a little bit of a lighter sunscreen on my face um, because I'm also applying a serum and I'll apply a moisturizer again after I've applied my sunscreen. Um, I usually look for something that's light, um, fragrance free, and of course has SPF in it. So um, one that I found that's really great is this Neutrogena. This one's 30 SPF and it's a daily moisturizer. So this one has been great so far. Um, I mean it's it's great because it's waterproof and sweatproof and in the summertime I do a lot of biking so I find that it's really great um, and it doesn't it doesn't leave my skin feeling too heavy and it doesn't um, clog my pores and cause me to break out because that's also a fear of mine um, but it's it's just it's a nice balance um, so I apply you know all the way to the hairline around the ears neck jaw um, just everywhere making sure that I, I don't leave any spots out because there's really no telling what angle the sun is going to hit my face at at any given time of the day, so um, just better be safe than sorry. Um, and then another product that I use, and I use this all over my whole body, um, especially in my neck region and down my chest bone, I find that the skin there is the thinnest and it burns the, easily, it burns the most easy. Um, so yeah, I use this one. and. Really, I'm telling you about sunscreen, you can pick any one that really works for you. I'm just talking about what works for me. Um, again, this one is a 30 SPF and it's not it's not a 60 but it's also not a 15. So I'm not applying it every, you know, 15 minutes outside but I apply it everywhere. If I can't reach all the spots in my body, I ask somebody to help me out. Um, but it's just, it's so important um, and one of the spots that I would have never thought to, to apply sunscreen is to my hands and I don't know if you guys have seen in previous videos but my hands are terribly embarrassing and they're red and, um, and in the winter time that my, you know, the, my skin cracks and I spoke to a dermatologist and they suggested that I probably burned my hands over the years various times in the sun and not known it and, and now my skin is just, it's just kind of fighting, fighting back so um, an important thing to do is remember, you know, after you've applied sunscreen to your whole body, squirt a little bit extra on your hands, get it all the way around your hands and your jo um, in between your fingers, all over your joints and uh, your nail buds everywhere. It's also a great moisturizer for your cuticles, but most importantly, um, it's, it's great protection from the sun. So that's my little spiel on uh, sunscreen. I uh, hope you guys are wearing some, and if you haven't and you've seen this video now, please make sure you find a sunscreen if you don't already have one that works for you, and just keep applying it daily, multiple times a day if you're out for long periods of time in the sun, and uh, and hopefully we can maintain a nice youthful glow. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video today, and more importantly, I hope you found it useful and uh, a little wake up call slash reality check. Um, make sure that you're all stocked up for your sunscreen before the summer sun hits. Um, please be sure to subscribe if you like the videos. As well, check out www.thesavvybeauty.com along with our other social media feeds, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks so much again. Take care.